Local Sky 3, stunning views from the next level. By the time all this rain comes and goes this weekend, you're going to be eager for an excuse to get out of the house and go do something fun. So we are giving it to you this morning because UTC takes on uh, Portland State Vikings this morning and coach or on Saturday rather. And coach Rusty Wright joins us again this morning from the Mox practice field where they are gearing up for another game on Saturday. Great to see you this morning, coach Wright. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm curious about how you're going to play the game this weekend, though, because from the looks of it, we're going to get a lot of rain. Is that going to affect the way you play? Well, no, we got to play in the rain. As long as it doesn't lightning and they don't delay it, we'll have to be out there playing. It doesn't affect the field? No, you got a turf field. It drains pretty good. It's in pretty good shape most of the time, so we'll be okay. All right, let's talk about this team you're coming up against. What's your strategy as you hit the practice field this week to prepare? Well, the biggest thing is we just got to try and get better at a couple of different things and give ourselves an opportunity to go play as well as we can on Saturday. And uh, so far this week, we've got to, this practice isn't going too bad. Yesterday was pretty good, so we'll see if we can keep it going. You know, I know I made that prediction and I meant it. I know I didn't get it, but last time you were here, I predicted that 14 to 10 win. It's pretty um, close. It's pretty <laughs> close. Yeah. But let's talk a little bit about what you're training your guys to do because on that field, it's about a lot more than winning the game. It's about winning in life, right? So even in the defeats, a lesson is learned. Well, no, no question. I mean, that's the thing is it's there's a lot of a lot of lessons learned out here on the football field that pertain to your everyday life and things that happen to you later on in life and, and when you're grown and have a family and and working and doing those, those those sorts of things that you have to go do day in and day out. And, uh, you know, you got to learn from things. You'd rather learn from wins than you would from losses, but you better learn and, and figure things out. So um, I think you had told me that your team this year, you got some seniors, and that's great, but you've got some kind of young ones, if you will, coming up, which got, has to be exciting for you because you get to mold them then uh, into the seasons to follow. How do you rank your defense right now? Uh, they're doing pretty good. We're pretty good defense. We've got an opportunity to keep, you know, keep getting better over there on that side of the ball. We've got some young guys playing and some old guys playing, so we'll, we'll have a chance to have a good football team over there for sure. On the offensive side of things, do they kind of lead the strategy in a way when you hit the field on Saturday? Do you rely on those offensive guys to know how to get the lay of the land? Well, I mean, it changes from week to week. People defend you differently, and you have to figure out what you're able to do and, and what works on that Saturday. And every Saturday is different. You just got to kind of, as the game goes through, you got to figure out what you can do and what you can be good at and give yourself a chance. Amy Donahue was on the show with us uh, this week. Y'all, of course, are gearing up for homecoming in a few weeks. And uh, October 1st is the Mox Give Day. So she was encouraging people to think about giving. And she mentioned that there's this great match being given to the athletics department. Um, if I think it's if 500 people will donate uh, on that October 1st, the athletics department is going to get quite a good bit of money. Um, from some special alumni. So it's important to you to see that groundswell of community support, is it not? Always, yeah, always. You want to be a hometown team, and that's what we are. Our, our guys that come to school here and wind up graduating here, a lot of them end up staying in Chattanooga, and they come from all over the country. And, and that's the biggest thing is you want them to feel like they're always welcome. Are they, uh, they seem kind of energetic behind you. Are they grateful for the cool down to come? Are they looking forward to the break I'm, from I'm the heat? Yeah, I'm sure it's not hurting their feelings too bad today. Well, you're very kind to give up a little bit of your time to talk to us this morning. Um, I'm not going to ask you to make a prediction because you didn't want to do it last time, so I'm not either, but I'm sure rooting for a mox win, and I know everybody else is as well. Yep, me too. We're going to go give it all we got. I appreciate it. Thank all you. All right. You have a great day. You go out and support the Mocs. They're our own local uh, team. We want to serve them well. So if you are an alumni, get out there and support your team. If you're perhaps a future Mock, go out there and support your team. If you're a Chattanooga, you do the same thing. GoMocs.com is where you go to get your tickets. If your yard looks like this, it's time to call Blewett Septic. Blewett Septic, where our entire